hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of let's play the sims 3 extreme legacy challenge i think this is episode 19 so before we get into today's episode i just want to let you guys know that i am in college for those of you who don't know and so i am during the summer i only signed up for one class but now that you know fall's coming coming around summer's slowly coming to an end I, I went ahead and signed up for four classes and they're quite big classes so I just want to let you guys know that if my upload schedule isn't <clears throat> necessarily scheduled just know it's because I'm hard at work so I will try to pre-record two episodes I'm gonna pre-record the wedding episode just because I will go up extremely early um to get this done so um i might record pre-record the next episode but i mean yeah so it is 5 32 a.m on a wednesday um everyone's kind of waking up john's still asleep but jess has a carpool coming soon and so we're just kind of getting ready for that let's go ahead and grab some mom salad she's like starving to death yarn Yarn. Yarn, please. Yarn, please, yarn. Here, why don't you go back here, somewhere back here, and dig a hole? Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm super excited because their wedding, I want to schedule their wedding tomorrow. Now, obviously, they don't know a lot of people, like... John doesn't know that many people. Um, this is all the people that he knows. Jess doesn't know that many people. So, oh, wow. Okay, so we have a coworker, and we have a coworker as well. We have a band member, Caleb McDowell. So we'll have them, like, meet and greet each other and all that good stuff and I believe that's your carpool Jess so why don't you go ahead and go to work I'm gonna go ahead and get John up even though he's not fully rested and I'm gonna have him come down here and eat um Jess's leftover autumn salad um he needs to get up I don't want to waste today I want to go meet some people he does not have work today so it's not like he has to be anywhere um let's see you're gonna he's gonna go fill the bowl we have two thousand dollars that's really good okay eat the autumn salad why did he what oh okay i guess maybe oh no she's gonna work i was like i guess maybe we could talk to her before she goes to work nope she's going to work right now so Oh, we do have a loan. Okay, remember when I said that we moved and we took out a loan? We do have a loan. Look at the loan balance. We owe seventy-five grand to the bank. Um, oh no, <laughs> and it's went up in interest because we haven't been paying it. Okay, we're gonna make a loan payment. I'm just gonna make a five hundred dollar loan payment because that's all we can afford right now. Um, but it keeps the interest from growing up every time we make payments. So, wow, that's bad. We gotta figure out a way to. We gotta figure out a way to make some money. So, I think that's what John's gonna do today as well. So I'm just gonna have him clean the house and then let's go and then we'll figure out how we're gonna pay off this loan, what we're gonna do for the day. Obviously, besides make friends, but yeah. Okay, so Jess got an objective. It says, read, get out of the pit and return to work to increase your job performance and relationship with your boss. We are going to do that because we need all the help we can get. The game just tried to give me, like, several roommates, so I had to, like, get rid of them. So that's what that was about. Um, but... And John just decided he wanted to work on his charisma instead of use the bathroom, like I told him to. So I'm currently having John head out to go to the festival we're gonna pick some flowers and get them consigned as our first tactic way to make money 
to pay off this loan and our wedding is gonna cost a whole bunch of money as well so it's like uh we're gonna be so behind so hopefully there's some things for us to catch and sell i already see some like little critters on the ground here like there's a snake and uh there's a crow that we can try to be friends with so come on little john you doing these things today so ooh, that one's worth three hundred dollars that's really good you're gonna be friends john has captured a yellow chondro python this particular snake is uncommon amongst other species in its sub border sub border on we friended a crow that's also worth a um no. I know the frick I'm not getting robbed. I'm not getting robbed. I'm not about to get robbed, John. John. John, we need to come home now. What the heck? What's going on? Looks like it's time to leave see you. Am I getting robbed? I don't look like I'm getting robbed. Oh, I hear somebody. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just see yarn. Yarn, you better guard this house. Hello? Is anybody here? Maybe it was just maybe it was just fake. Maybe it was one of my neighbors. Oh, but that means we have a burglar in town. Absolutely not. Okay, we're going to head back to the park. No, there is a burglar on our lot. What the freak? Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? Okay. What do we do? You. Um, you can't even do anything. We can do stuff. Okay, I have mods in here. So, we're going to knock out punch him. Don't worry about that. No. Knockout punch him. <gasps> he took my stairs? No. Be argued with. Uh-uh. No. I told you to punch him. Okay, not punch. Knockout punch. Knockout punch. Do it now. Knockout punch. Yes knock that man out and then call the freaking police please call the police no he's getting back up no 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 we gotta keep <laughs> we gotta keep punching him until the police gets here please hurry go punch him 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 <laughs> what it didn't work do it again no there we go <laughs> just keep doing it just keep doing it until the police get here there we go <laughs> police hurry police please hurry okay 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 don't let him get a freaking way yeah you got caught get him Get him now. Get him now with those eyelashes that don't even work. Okay. Good. Good. He stole my stairs. How am I going to get upstairs? Okay. Give me my money. Tell me that was the criminal y'all been trying to catch for a long time. What? Oh, that's not. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Okay. So now what? Yarn, that's not how that works. There are no stairs. What? What's going on? Do I get my money back? Um, I've got you now, burglar. Stay here by the car while I survey the house. He stole my stairs. I think that's everything. All those loans have been placed in your house. Under thank you. Oh, I'm being robbed still. Oh my gosh, thank you. Bye, police lady. Even though I did all the work. Um, wow, I cannot believe that just happened. 
don't practice your speech. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's put our stairs back. I don't know which way that we're facing. Like this. No. Which way? Do I need to do like move objects on or something? So I can figure out which way. Okay, it was like that. What's in the way? Okay. I'm pretty sure it was like that, right? Right? I guess so. Okay. We're headed back to the park. That was interesting. So there is a bunch of um, flowers here at the park that we're, I'm going to have John pick. Um, we're going to have to consign everything. Remember, we can't sell things out of our inventory. We got to go to the consignment shop and wait for someone to buy them. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to have him pick all of these flowers and we'll see you, I guess, once we're, we're done picking everything. Oh, I got, um, I think it says congratulations, Jess Hill's boss has been pleased with Jess's performance and is willing to offer her a promotion to just accept yes Woohoo! so we went ahead and got ourselves a promotion so now we're a mess hall server we make $44 an hour and we also have to read this military book so it says we don't get off work till 3 but we don't have work for one day so it's not gonna let us go back to work so she's gonna go home and read this book when she gets home getting out of the pit so i'm gonna wait until she gets home real quick are you home jess okay she's home read that book we're out here tending doing all that we can now jess has a gardening skill point so um and i have john he picked some red berry beans which are worth quite a bit well i told him to pick red berry beans Oh, he hasn't gotten to it yet, but there are red berry beans here, so we're going to take them home and plant them. Did I tell him to get this flower? So I'm just going to have him do some more harvesting and stuff, and while he does that, let's go ahead and see what Jess is doing. Okay, so Jess is just home. She's reading her book, and she's not doing much. And someone here. Oh, and um, Marianne's home. So, and she, look, she has a book, too, because she hates the TV. So that's that's good. So um, John also um, has um, a band member now. So we're going to hopefully invite him over or out maybe. Let's might invite them out and, um, you know, hang out, maybe go to a bar or something. Um, John's feeling a little tired, though, so I might have him go home and like nap for a little bit first okay can you stop harvesting that stuff and get the stuff that i told you to get okay so um i went ahead and queued up john to text um what's his name a whole bunch of times that way um they can you know go out later and jess is probably just gonna stay home a little bit um and let's see she should probably do this john just sculpting she's gonna sculpt an mm, She's going to sculpt in ice a little bit, and she also wants to check herself out in the mirror, so we'll go ahead and have her do that. And John is in the, you know, the long process of texting, what's his name, a whole bunch of times, Caleb McDowell. Um, he is a fan, so he's not, I mean, he's, he's probably like what, like second or first in the music career? Where are you going, Marianne? She wants to watch or something. Oh, she wants to go play with my dog. Oh, that's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and see what John's... Let's go back over to John because we're about to, you know, play with him for a little bit. So our relationship is going way up 
from all of the texting. So I want to go ahead and invite him out. Um, we are very tired, but, you know, we'll just take him to a bar close to our house. Like, here's a dance, a techno bell. Um, um, let's go to the Seafire Grill and Lounge. That looks, that sounds nice. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. So we are going to go meet Caleb at the bar and I will see you guys once we are there. Ooh, look at this place. Looks cool. It even has like a little seafood sign. That's so cute. All right. So let's go ahead. And I don't think he's here yet. But what we'll do is we'll just buy a round of drinks. So when he does get here, we can offer him one. Um, unless he's already here. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it, but this is nice. Oh, there he is. Okay. So we're getting our drinks ordered. Why do you have a gun? <sighs> I need to get that gun out of my game. I literally don't even know where I got it from. It's just in the game. Hey Caleb. Um, let's see. Let's just be friendly. Let's um, enthuse about some music. Um, let's ask his sign. Um, ask what his alma mater. I feel like they're going to be friends. John is a family oriented Sam. Yeah, we know. Um, oh, he's receiving all of our mini texts that we sent him. Did you give me my drinks yet? No. Is she just going to react to all of the texts that we sent him? Please no. Okay. He literally is. So instead, we're going to wear those drinks. Wear those drinks that. We're out of drinks. Um, oh, I guess we just... He, like, canceled the interaction, maybe? Okay, hurry up before he finishes doing this. Uh, look at him over there. He's like... Ooh, the walls. I really like this place. What the heck? All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's bring a drink. Bring a what? Sorrow Annihilator. That's hilarious. Dude, stop. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, here you go. I'm going to drink one too. All right, let's talk a little bit. Um, let's ask what is alma, alma mater, and then we'll enthuse about our new house, how we just moved here, um, we'll get to know him a little bit, yeah, yeah, let's discuss work, just cause this is like more of a business type thing, um, shaka bra, aw, he doesn't like that. Like, I don't care about your new house. Um, let's talk about our family. Um, let's, let's make a joke. Maybe he'll like it. Joke about work. Um, oh, talk about the burglary. Definitely. Definitely talk about that burglary. Okay. Who do we even know? The, oh, Dan Ayers. We punched him so many times. We punched him like three times. Okay. We punched him like three times. Tell a ghost story. Abs no. <laughs> um, okay. Let's oh, wow. Let's get to know. He's perceptive. I don't know why you didn't want to shock a brow with me. Um... I wanted to make a joke about work too. What is what's going on? Nothing. Oh, yeah, he's perceptive. He graduated from the Starry Community School. Nice. Um, let's do this again. That's always really good, right? We'll show him an internet cat video. Cause that one's always good too. We'll tell a joke. Uh, put on speed two, so just hurry up. We can hurry this up. Um, we will maybe tell a story. 
He has no sense of humor. Oh, wait, stop. Stop it. <laughs> he has no sense of humor. Okay, what else? We should get to know him some more then. I did not know that. Right in his day. Oh, he liked that though. I mean, I guess no one can resist the cuteness of cats. Um, come on, you guys. It's like eight. He's so tired. He's supposed to pass out. And he is buzzed. Oh, let's ask if he's single. I want to know if he's single. If he, like, you know, has a girlfriend or anything like that. Ask about show. What's his favorite show, I guess? Um, what else? Fist bump. Um, we'll talk about music some more. We're considered friends now. Um... Uh, do we even talk about the burglary? I don't even think we talked about the burglary. Oh, look, Caleb is a natural cook. And he's single. How old is he? That's what I want to know. We'll ask about age. And we'll do some special interactions, too. Um, we'll be ask about his day. This bump. I think this is a good little meet and greet thing. I think, you know, John's extremely tired, so I think we're going to end it here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and ask to leave group. And we're going to go home. All right, so let's see what Caleb had to say about this. So it says, what a, oh, what a great time. Everyone was pleased with the outing and we'll be excited to go out again. And we got another charisma skill, which is nice. You sure know how to have a good time. Call me anytime for fun or whatever you... I don't know what that means. I'm, and he's 22. What the heck? He's so young. But they hit it off, so that's really good, right? That's really good. Okay, so we're home. Um, John, you're about to fall asleep. You're about to fall over. Come eat the autumn salad. And then, look, Jess is, like, already in bed. She's already getting prepared for the next day of work. Actually, she has the day off tomorrow. <gasps> so their wedding is tomorrow, you guys. I'm so excited. So be ready for that. I'm going to make sure they, they go to bed pretty early and that they're well rested. Um, I do have a wedding venue in this world that I placed down. So that's where we'll be having our wedding. And you won't see just clothes and stuff until the wedding. Cause, ah. So... So, yeah. Um, I do think I am going to pre-record it. Oh, affections appear to be developing between local sims Caleb McDowell and Tracy Luke after they were heard openly commenting on each other's mad kissing skills. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh no, the yellow python got loose and ran out into the world. You shouldn't have kept him in their inventory for so long. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Pick the snake up. Pick the snake up. Okay. We're going to go to bed now. And we'll just, you know, clean up in the morning and stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are excited for their wedding, don't forget to leave a like. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.